Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, the channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are continuing our platinum playthrough of Final Fantasy 16, including all main quests, side quests, and trophies. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, so we're going to start off in the Velcroy Desert on our way south to the Earth Crystal. Drake's Fang. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Monsters. Looks like we'll be having some fun times. Our destination lies over that dune beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Where are you going, buddy? This is a, this is just a wall. Look, I'm following you. Oh, to heck with it. We've got a nice big area here to explore. Uh, so yeah, you guessed it. That's what I'm going to be doing. Um, see those fallen ruins should be somewhere around in here. We'll be going past those. Um, so I'll be exploring mostly this area up in here. And then once I get into kind of this area here by those ruins, we'll... We'll meet back up. Alright, well, looks like we made it to the Fallen Ruins, and there's some people going through it. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, is this the trading post? Who do you think those soldiers were? Yep, this is the little trading post, huh? The Watcher. Alright. Not really a trading post, just kind of a shelter along the way. I mean, it does give uh, shade from the harsh desert sun, but let's keep on going. Let's see if we can't find our little trading camp up here. Ah. There she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Yep, you know, and I absolutely did not get distracted. A quick drink before we press on. I went straight here, no distractions whatsoever. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside.
Yep, because putting the hood on definitely hides your colors that you're very proudly braving. Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skim. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you! Uncle? Sorry. I mean, we all knew this was going to happen. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. 
But we've got business in Camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. to lose. Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. He's been fighting by my side all this time. And now suddenly he's chicken fried. I feel so sorry for this inn. They are going to have to get all new furniture. You. I done wrecked everything. trouble uh, word of advice miss that soup could do with a touch more salt <laughs> I guess that's one advantage to having a wealthy patron on our side he can cover any damages we entail Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Clive? What is it now? It... It's nothing. Let's go. Didn't know where to find Kupka before. 
we do now. The Royalists said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. And we just missed Joshua. Close the road, and it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. None shall pass by order of... The gate is closed by oh. order of Lord Kupka. Any I guess attempt that to didn't work, did it? to Drake's Fang will be punished with arrest and incarceration. Hello, traitor. What you got? Good day, my lord. Platinum sword we've got... Waste cloth. Uh, nope, nope. We've already got those. Lightning rod upgrade. Reduces cooldown time. Very nice. Meteorites. Actually, I did need a couple of those. Let's go ahead and, uh... She's only got the one. Okay. An excellent choice. I guess we'll just take the one, then. Orchestrian roll. Thank you for your custom. I think you gave me more than I gave you. Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer, aren't you? How about you, good sir? Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Very smooth, Uncle. Aw, oh, that poor dog, he's trying to get some food out of that sack. I think. So, we'll just keep talking to people then, eh? Anybody up here? Fucking men of the wrong. Anytime they pull their snouts out of the Alright, so who else am I supposed to find over here? Oh! Derp! How about you, the one with the big old icon over her head? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? 
I won't keep you long. Ooh, those I'm are looking for someone. Interesting eyes. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family in time. Yeah, but I mean, I can still go around and. Mommy, I, want to I mean, I definitely want to talk to the smithy. He might have some uh, upgrades for me. You don't look like a smithy, though. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. I could do with a bath, too. Well... It sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Sweet incense! What was candle? Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. This got me going all Death, over the place, huh? Do you think huh? we can trust him? Only as far as I think he trusts. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? I should have expected Don't this. play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. You don't want to do this, fellas. This one. You all leave my dog alone. Oh, good. Four of them. Y'all can't tell. You might not want to piss me off. And yet they're all still alive. Who are you working for? Him or her? <sighs> Him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? 
Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. I'm not sure how I can go around swinging my sword and like Lights throwing and fireballs and stuff and, and they just get back up like, you know, it was a freaking wood practice sword or something. Fresh bread, warm nah, those dudes are most dead. Herbs and my carpet. Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Ubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> And nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. 
Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Ah, the riddle of the I sand. We were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Well, let's go talk to some more people, see what's bothering them. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Oh, okay. I can deal with bandits. That's not a problem. Just gotta figure out where they're at. And I can go get those crystals for you. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Uh, I don't see how that was supposed to help. Unless the men of the rock are the thieves that are stealing the crystals. And then what, reselling them? And then stealing again, and then reselling them again? What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Well, that's the not Uncle Byron. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. Yep. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Nope. I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Let's see, what new trouble can I get into up here? Uh... Where at upstairs? This is a pretty big upstairs. You could have given me a little bit more to go on. Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? The sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. 
What are you doing, Uncle? It's called a bribe. He's trying to bribe his way past the guards to get the gate open for you. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd asked for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. I need to drink. Now, why would a double cross ever turn sour? Fucking men of the wrong. Oh, I'm going the the wrong freaking way. Oh my goodness, it's all the way out. Wow, how am I even supposed to get? Okay, the desert gate up here. All right, so that's my that's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Alright, we made it to the desert gate. Now let's see if we can't go find that uh, meeting spot. All the way over there. Alright, here we go. We made it to the meeting site. Absolutely without getting distracted. Not even once. I promise. I'll take it from here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? Okay, maybe All I got a little distracted. All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. 
And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs! They're not here to do business! Kill them! Kill them both! If you think you can. If they're dead, can you, buddy? Can't care if you're dead either. Oh, Uncle, uh, how you doing? You about got him? Oh, now we're fighting their mounts. Alright, sure. I've taken out Chocobos before. wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is.
Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more installments, which you can see in the playlist linked here on the left, along with some of the additional content that I do on this channel. Uh, thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.